I am very pleased to announce the release of my audiobook, 101 Laws of Logic, in which the 101 most important laws of formal logic are concisely and clearly stated. Please enjoy the following promotional excerpt from the audiobook itself, available at audible.com. 71. The complement of the empty set is the universal set. 72. Zero is the number of the empty set. 73. 1 is the number of the smallest set, K1, of which the empty set is both member and subset. 74. 2 is the number of the smallest set, K2, of which K1 is both member and subset. 75. 3 is the number of the smallest set, K3, of which K2 is both member and subset. 76. N plus 1 is the number of the smallest set, of which an n-numbered set is both member and subset. 77. A function is a rule that assigns at least one object to at least one object and never assigns more than one object to a given object. Consider the function that assigns x plus 1 to x for any integer x. In other words, f of x equals x plus 1. This function is a rule that assigns exactly one number to any given integer. We will henceforth refer to this particular function as the successor function. 78. The rule that assigns any given object to itself, in other words, f of x equals x, is the identity function. 79. Consider the function f of x equals 0 times x. This function assigns 0 to everything in its domain, and it is therefore a constant function. In general, a constant function is one that assigns the same object to every object in its domain. A function is one-to-one -one if it never assigns the same object to more than one object. The identity function is a one-to-one -one function. So is the successor function. 81. A one-to-one -one function establishes a one-to-one -one correspondence between two sets. Other expressions for one-to-one -one correspondence are mapping relation, transformation, and bijection. If there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between two sets, in other words, if the one set can be transformed into the other, then any given statement about the interrelations of the members of the one set can be interpreted as a statement about the interrelations of the members of the other set. 82. To count the members of a given class K is to bijack the members of K with those of an initial segment of the series of positive numbers. Thus, if K is the smallest class containing the letters A, B, and C, to count the members of K is to bijack them with the smallest class containing 1, 2, and 3. 83. A recursive function is one that is defined for each of its own outputs.